This is the third episode of Wild Oceans in Wakatobi. And just look at this reef. I'm at about five meters just on the top of the wall. And I start by filming these Clark's anemone fish. And what's unusual about this anemone is that there's two different species of anemone fish living in there. You can just make out a skunk anemone fish living happily with the bigger Clark's anemone fish, which is quite unusual actually. Now the top of the reefs in Wakatobi always start around four or five meters and then drop down to normally about 40 or 50 meters. Lots of big Gorgonian sea fans, great coral coverage. The water column's always full of trigger fish. We've got a regal angelfish here, but the main thing I'm filming are those yellow fish. They're called uh, long nose butterfly fish, and it's pretty clear how they get their name. And like most butterfly fish, they also have the trademark black spot near their tail, which is the false eye, to confuse potential predators. These are yellow spot emperors, just sitting on the reef there against the blue water. Very common throughout Wakatobi. Lots of the Indo-Pacific Sergeant Majors, which we have in the Andaman Sea also. This is one of my favorite fish to film. It's a hawkfish, and it's called a freckled hawkfish. Uh, they're very difficult to get a good shot, but uh, this isn't too bad. Those are Moorish idols, this triggerfish, yellow and white square looking fish are a kind of butterfly fish. And it really is one of the best places to go diving anywhere in the world. It's actually in the heart of the coral triangle 